Do you think about me every night when you turn out all the lights? Hi. So you don't have to sleep alone. How are you? And how are you? Do you think back on all the fights? Hello. Hello. What's up? How are you guys? Pretty good. How are you? Good. So let's talk about how this song um, came about. Honestly, because I don't really remember. I mean, I remember some of it, but. In my head, this song came about, we were like picking a bunch of, we had a bunch of like really good melodies, but nothing was like picking. Mm -hmm. And then, to my knowledge, I feel like, Emily, you had the lyric, you didn't get me. Uh, yeah. And then John was like, hey, let me just write this whole like vocal thing on the guitar. And I feel like I just sat there the whole time with Oh my god, it's just going. It's happening. This is so but, good. <laughs> but oh. it did happen because of you. Because you were been you'd been like talking about your relationships. Really? Like the oh, I've never done that before. <laughs> but I think that was why I even said it. Because you're right. We had been floating and floating and circling melodies and stuff. Mm -hmm. what I remember. Sudden five minutes later. Yep. It was really quick, right? I feel like it was a quick ending. Like we were like, "Oh, there's the song," and that was our first. That was our first session all together, right? Yeah. Was that the one where we went to go eat? We went to go eat. Yeah. That was that day. That was I remember that. I didn't know what day that was. Yeah, that was. That may have been the first time. No, me and you had written before, right, Emily? We had done. Yeah, I think John, you and I had written, but neither of us had written with Anna. With right? Anna, yeah. And I'd, yeah, and I'd never written with Anna either. So, yeah, our first day all together. Wow. Were we yeah. on or something? And then John was like, hold on, and picked up the guitar and was just like, do, 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 and like sang out this structure. And then that was that. Well, John gets annoyed with me because I always tell him to just write acoustic. Just mm -hmm. like, do guitar no. and vocal. Yeah, I on our last session, you're like, Emily Haver special, <laughs> every time I ask. <laughs> Just strip it down, but it works. It does work. Yeah. You know, some sometimes when people tell you that as a producer, it, it feels like, uh, you're like, oh, you don't like my productions, but I know you're right, and I know that that's not I never I that's meet, not the I never I meet know, it that ever. I know, <laughs> I know. I know. Um, but yeah, I mean, I write most when I write by myself, I always write like that, like just on guitar. So right. I just never have faith once again, that like, if you write a really good song that people are gonna like it because of, you know, what what is the current marketplace. But I was proven wrong here. But that's the beauty of like what we did for Get Me Too. It's just like, it was real, it was honest, it was instant, it was, I mean, it wasn't instant because we had like four hours talking about stuff before, but it was instant once it happened. Like, yeah, like me having um, borderline personality disorder and uh, getting tattoos after a month of dating somebody, and then yeah. <laughs> all of my relationship stuff, which is actually so normal. I'm pretty sure, like, within the first two minutes of every session, um, we're just like deep in the mental health. That's so great, though, because I don't know that. Every session doesn't go there necessarily in terms of the depth for other people. Like as writers, to work with you is so special just in terms of the, the subjects that come up and the things you get to explore. Everyone at the label was like, from day one was like, get me has to come out as a single, get me has to come out as a single. And it was so funny because honestly, I felt like this song, because of like the label stuff, I felt like this song was just kind of like, like done, and then I was like, "Hey guys, what about that one song? Like, is it really pitching it? Like, what's going on?" And they were like, "Don't worry about all of that later." And I was like, "Okay." And then when we when we went to like decide when we went to go, what the heck? When we were deciding um, about what to focus on, they're like, "Oh yeah, everybody loves Get Me," and I was like, "What? Okay, I'm here for that." So yeah. Yeah. That's so exciting, though. And I do love this one. I think it's cool that it's such a personal single. But it's also, like, I was going to say weird, but, like, a good weird, like, different. Like, I remember, John, you saying you were, like, 
it's just kind of like not something, not really something like you hear, at least not recently. I don't remember your exact words, but do you know what I'm talking about? I do, yeah. Yeah, the song's definitely like not, it, it doesn't sound like all the other, it doesn't sound like what people are currently putting out. Yeah, there's no like trap beat underneath it. There's no trap beat. I tried one. <laughs> don't don't think I didn't try. <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> yeah, we don't live in a very. Um, I mean, I think people write great songs, but we definitely don't live in a very song centric, like or a storyteller centric world right now. Like over the last few years, especially, it's so much more about like rhythm and beats and stuff. And I think this song's such a it's such a story and it's such an arc. It's almost like a country song in a lot of ways, um, which is awesome, which is, I, I love I love that kind of stuff. So I'm, I'm so happy that your team put it out because every time I'd listen to it, I'd be like, man, this is such a good song. I, I don't know who's gonna do anything with it, but I really think it deserves to see the light of day. And it did. Okay, so we can lunch, guys. So good to see you. All right, good to see you both too. You guys, be safe. Bye. Bye.